The Radeon 780M video core built into the Ryzen processor is on an equal footing with the GTX 1060 ETA Prime test. On the eve of the imminent release of the first models of mobile devices equipped with hybrid AMD Ryzen 7040 series processors with integrated Radeon 780M video core, ETA Prime specialists continue to delight the general computer community with fresh tests of one of the upcoming new products, according to the WFT resource. A little earlier, the source's researchers published a video in which they studied the capabilities of integrated graphics in a number of popular gaming applications, and today they decided to publish fresh test results in other titles. As before, for their research, the specialists used the Asus UFA 15 laptop equipped with an AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS hybrid processor which received 8 cores slash 16 threads with a frequency formula 4.0, 5.2 GHz in basic, boost mode, as well as an IGPU Radeon 780M based on the RDNA 3 microarchitecture and endowed with 12 computing resources. Blocks with a frequency of up to 2.8 GHz. In addition, the device was equipped with 32 GB of DDR5 RAM operating at an effective frequency of 5600 MHz, and the processor power limit was 70 watts. According to the test results, the built-in Radeon 780M video core is really capable of providing a comfortable pastime in a number of gaming applications at 1080p resolution, for example, in World of Warcraft with the maximum graphics quality settings, the average frame rate was 98 FPS, in the original Skyrim. Genshin Impact, Crisis Remastered and Mortal Kombat 11 when using the preset high, 120, 60, 71 and 60 FPS, in Borderlands 3 at medium settings 73 FPS, in Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Dirt 5 and Ghost Wire, Tokyo at low quality 74, 71 and 58 FPS. In Red Dead Redemption 2 when using the low preset and FSR in performance mode, 71 FPS, and in God of War when using the original preset and normal, FSR balanced mode 58 68 FPS. Summing up, the sources specialists noted that, in their opinion, the integrated AMD Radeon 780M graphics are on an equal footing with the discrete Force GTX 1063GB video card, slightly lagging behind the 6GB model, but beta drivers were used for today's tests, while the full-fledged graphics package Adrenaline with support for the new video core, coming out in the near future, in theory, should bring performance gains in a number of games, which can help the IGPU of the Red Team to break ahead.